I did up one of the cheaper houses on the game. And this is a quick tour of it just before we sell it. We made about £12,000 on it. And it was just so that I could afford one of the more like mid to high tier sort of range houses. So that we're not stuck selling the cheapest houses in the game. I thought I'd spend a little bit of time to boost us so that we can get the mid to the most expensive range houses. Right guys, welcome back to House Flipper. You can see I now have 125,000. I've only done one more house, like bought it and renovated it. And that was the like sneak peek kind of thing that you saw at the beginning of the video. The way I've got the money is from the mailbox doing all of these. I've managed to get 100% on all of them because I'm now using the minimap to find the extra dirt and the devices to mount and stuff. And what we are going to do, the house I got was the abandoned one. I think that's the cheapest one in the game. And I've, what was it? About £12,000 I made. But we're going to go for this. The house that is hiding something. I know that I've got 125 grand. I can go for something more expensive. But with these, 205,000 pound. If we look at the pictures, there's just boxes, and the walls might need redoing, and like radiators put on the walls and stuff. But there's not that much to do to the houses that cost a lot. And like this pink one, look at that. You don't need to do anything to it. So we're gonna do. The house that is hiding something, £69,000, and there's all graffiti outside, there's rubbish all over the place, and we've actually got to do some plastering and stuff inside the house. Apparently there's two floors, so let's buy the house and we will see. Right, so the very first thing I'm going to do is get all this graffiti. Where are my buyers? Oh, there they are. Right, make sure there's no dirt. I think we're clear for the outside. The frames are terrible for some reason. I don't know why. All I can do is apologise that the game's not smooth. My PC should be able to handle this. I don't think it is my PC. I think it's the game. Right, oh. See, doing all the jobs has upgraded my skills a lot, which helps out because it will make things quicker. I can now just pick up one bit of rubbish and it picks up everything that's within range. So if we try and clear out as much of this stuff as we can, I would say that's all of the rubbish. Right, that's not dirt, that's actual damage to the walls. Let's sell everything as well. And this time, I will remember to get a bed. Do you need assembling? Yes, you do. You're burnt out. You can go in. Flip that back up. Nicely done. Right, that's an, this is an absolute state. I really, really hope that we can make at least a £20,000 profit on this house. Because I've paid a lot for it. I'm going to be doing a lot to it. There might be some cuts in the video because... I don't want you guys to keep seeing the same stuff all the time. Like I want there to be more content added to this game. I might get the I might do this house and do the two hundred and five thousand one. Like in videos and then just do the rest of them by myself until there's more added. Unless you guys want me to do other stuff, then let me know in the comments. Right, I think that's pretty much all the cleaning. I'm not gonna be keeping that floor. I might keep it for this, but then in here, no, it's not all the cleaning. In this room, we're going to change the floor. Oh, I missed a lot of cleaning. There's even bits on the mini-map. Right, anywhere else. That's just mount the balls. Done that. Right, let's start down here. That's a washer, that's a toilet. And that is a sink. So let's go sink. The sink is done. Toilet done. And that's the washer done. 
There's nothing else that needs assembling down here. Right, I've never ever done plastering on this game. So that's what we're going to do now. Oh, that's fairly... That, okay, that's pretty simple. Where else needs plastering? Is it just... Allows to clean the windows. Just this room here. Right, you're going to go there just in case I need to plaster any more walls. So I don't have to keep uh, buying and selling, like rebuying and reselling. I think if we start... So this is going to be... We could try and get... Maybe we'll get a computer over here. We'll have the kitchen along that wall with a TV there maybe on that wall. Right, let's get the computer desk. We're going to have it go with that colour and put you there. Then get office chair and that can go in there and then do we have to buy the computer stuff we get that tower you can go down there oh, wait no actually can you go on the desk yeah and then can we get a monitor get an HD monitor Whoa, the size of that. That's a TV, that's not a PC screen. That's more like it. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Nice little setup. Right, before I add anything else in, I'm going to decorate these walls. No, let's fit the kitchen so that I can separate the kitchen to the living room properly so if we go kitchen oh that is a good fit kind of let's put that right about there no I've got to turn it around sinks the wrong way That's better. It's not too bad of a fit. And then what we can do is, can we get a tabletop? Oh, where's the cookers? Ovens? No, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Gas stove. Can we get this? We'll put that this side. Put it about there. Then what else is there? We'll get the stack fridge, which can go over here. That is so odd. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. Screw it. Right, now we need a microwave oven. Right, we'll put a water heater up there just so it looks like the gas for the hot water is coming through that. I don't know. And I think we're going to put a couple of plants on top of these counters. Because I, I really can't think of what else we could put. We could, actually, we can get a... Oh, I didn't know you had all this. Get a coffee maker. What else is in here? DVD. Fan. Loudspeaker. Keyboard. Oh, it does fit. Nice. Is that... That's upside down, isn't it? Right, we've got a hood for our... 
stove, cooker, oven, grill, whatever you want to call it. Oh, that doesn't actually look too bad. That is very, very wacky, but for some reason, I like it. Yellow for the living room area, even though there's a fridge there. And then green for the kitchen. Do you know, I never ever crossed my mind to get blinds or anything. But there we go, got some blinds in the kitchen. Got a knife stand, a couple of fern plants. I'm not sure what else we can do to that. I'd say that's the kitchen area done. I'll switch these two rounds. So you've got the PC here now. And we've got the TV there. I'd say that's looking good. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure we can do much more to this. So if we move on to the bedroom now. Quickly put a front door on. Right, the bedroom is done. We've got coffee with milk as the main colour. And then we went with a secondary for two walls with black. So now if we go up to all, type in bed, we'll go with this one. And we'll just stick to... There we go, we get the wood cherry finish. Put the bed around this way. And then what we can do is go lamp. And we'll put the lamps on the new bedside tables we just got. Yeah, that'll do. Doesn't look too bad. Trying to get through this as quick as possible. So that's... These two are done. Now we need to do the bathroom. This shouldn't take too long. Going to quickly grab the door. We'll go, no, not a front door. We want an internal white door. That'll do. There we go, lovely. Let's quickly put a radiator on the wall. Drag that down, tighten them up. Same again. That's radiator done. And then, what's that, sink? Sink is on, and then we can put the toilet there. We're going to go with a flatty toilet. And you put that screw in, that one in, put the back on, put the lid on, done. And then, is this the, yeah, the shower is over here. And there's our shower. Yeah, there's no more mountables in this room. So what we're going to do... Yeah, we put the beige carpet in there. So we're going to go with floor tiles. We're going to have the ceramic grey. Yeah, that wall actually looks quite nice. And then what we're going to do is get the paint out. Yeah, that's flash. That is what our upstairs bathroom, toilet, whatever you want to call it, is going to look like. I would say that is probably one of the best looking rooms I've done on this game, in my personal opinion. So, we've got kitchen and fridge, computer, TV, so that's kind of like a living area, like living room kind of thing, chest of drawers, wardrobe, bed, two bedside tables, then we've got the bathroom done. So, down here, we've got another, I'm going to keep the floor as it is and probably just go over that, over the brick with a white paint. Right, if we sell the paint, grab ourselves a door. We'll get the brown internal. And it's going to sit right there. Yep, yeah, that's just for quick poo if you need one. So, down here in this space. I have just finished this house. I'm going to do a full tour because downstairs is something that I think is pretty cool. And it's all thanks to the DLC. So, we're outside. 
yeah, the door placement is very bad. You can see the paint, blah, blah, blah. But you walk in the front door. You have the kitchen. You have a fridge. Then you've got the computer desk. And you've got a TV. Then in the bedroom, you've got the beige carpet. The chest of drawers, bedside tables with lamps on. And the wardrobe. A couple of pictures in there too. Then you come into the bathroom. And that's just your standard bathroom. And then you've got this door. So we're going to open it. And as you walk down the stairs, there's an M16 on the wall. And this is like a survival sort of shelter for protection. Kind of like a bunker sort of thing. For if there's ever a war. So you come down here. You've got the emergency toilet in here. Which is basic. You've got a couple of toilet rolls on the floor. You've got two sewers down here for emergency escapes. And then you've got a nice shotty on the wall. The light switch, which is pretty cool. With a few lights on the ceiling. A couple of halogen lamps. Even though there's a switch there, I just realised that. Then you've got the power down there. We've got a massive generator for if everything goes south and we lose electrical power. You have like pickle cucumbers, whatever all that stuff is. I think that's supposed to be soup on the bottom. Then you've got our boots and our hat for if we ever need to go out. Bunk beds, just because you're not going to be living in luxury if you have to come down into a bunker. Then you've got emergency food, boxes, packages, that, that's got top secret stuff in, you can't know about that stuff. Then we've got first aid kits if we get hurt, a couple of gas canisters if we need them. And then we've got water bottles and like tuna, meat, tomatoes, stuff like that. So I I actually enjoyed building that room. And then you've got the toilet next door. That is the house complete. My frames are probably about fucking six. It really annoys me. Because my PC can definitely handle this game. It's just in busy sort of like where there's a lot of objects and stuff for some reason the frames are diabolical right i've not paid attention to the buyers at all but we're going to sell the house and see how much profit we made we paid sixty nine thousand pound for it uh seven rooms in the basement let's have a look ready three two one go i spent nearly an hour on this Oh, we started at 100 grand. Holy shit. The starting bid was six digits. Go on, 110, 110. We've done it, I think. Oh, what? 113? £116,000. £40,000 profit. And it took me just under an hour. That is amazing. I'm not negotiating that. I'm not refusing it. We're going to accept it. I don't know what that brings my grand total up to. We have £165,000. See, that was it was actually a £47,000 profit. But we spent seven grand on furniture. But I don't mind 40000 What I'm going to do is... The video is going to end there. I'm going to do these three like jobs and maybe do one of the cheaper houses so like i might even do these two if we don't make enough money but then the next video that you guys see should hopefully if everything goes to plan be us renovating the two hundred and five thousand pound just married's house because it still needs work believe it or not and there's, there's multiple, there's three floors. So I think there's probably the two floors and then a basement. So we'll have a lot to do for that. And I will be making cuts like, I'm not going to show you all the cleaning up and then all the painting. Like I'll start off the paint, probably explain what colour it's going to be and then show you once the room's finished kind of thing. And I'll try and put more effort, more detail into the buildings, like into the renovation for that building. But anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
If you have any suggestions of crazy challenges kind of things that I can do to some of the buildings on this game, like make the whole house pink, blue, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.